In this video, we're going to take a look at using bar graphs, circle graphs, time series graphs in order to visually represent data in the best possible format. One such format might be a Parado chart, which works really good if you have categories. For example, on the right here, I took survey of my late students to ask them what was their excuse for being late to class. Were they studying, hit the snooze button on the alarm, eating breakfast, talking to friends, getting dressed, car troubles, or anything else? You can see in this graph that the heights represent the frequency of each of those category events, similar to a histogram, except on a histogram we're looking at a range of quantitative values. With a Prado chart, we're looking at qualitative values data in categories, and the bars are always arranged in order from left to right according to decreasing height. Another way I could display this same information is with a circle graph or a pie chart, which uses wedges of the circle to display proportional parts that share a common characteristic. Here I can see the percentage of my students that their excuse was studying compared to snoozing on the alarm. Pie graphs or circle graphs are usually best for displaying a percentage rather than the actual number in each category. A third type of graph that we could consider is what's called a time series graph. A time series graph shows measurements in chronological order, and the data points are plotted in order of occurrence at regular intervals over a period of time. Here I can see the population of a small town as it increased initially, decreased sharply after 1850, and then slowly started to recover. The data consists of measurements of the same variable of the same subject at regular time intervals over a period of time. I hope you found this video useful as we looked at different ways to visually represent data in the best possible format. I wish you luck as you continue with your work.